Freight elevators and persistent and instance hangers have been delayed until Alpha 3.23.x patch. These are some of the biggest features that many players have been anticipating since it was announced. Will delaying these features for the sake of further polish and refinement of these features be enough for more vocal players? Or will the mass hysteria begin to flood Spectrum until the patch releases sometime in June? If you're anxiously awaiting freight elevators and the new hangers, smash that like button and be sure to share your thoughts in the comments on what you think of their decision. Your engagement with the channel helps us gauge your interest in all things Star Citizen. And don't forget to subscribe for more clear, concise, and up-to-date content on Star Citizen and Sim Gear reviews. A few hours ago, CIG dropped their roadmap update for the week regarding Alpha 3.23, and some players are reacting to this news with so much hate towards CIG, with item banks, new cargo hauling missions, persistent and instance hangers, and the more important freight elevators being delayed until patch 3.23.x. While I don't agree with a lot of the reactions and comments of a few others, I would be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. These features would begin to make hangers more personal for players and allow us to customize them and prevent other players from entering our hangers. And freight elevators and item banks would have added so much more to the verse by making cargo and our inventory more physicalized. However, while I wish these features would have made it into the upcoming patch, I believe that the decision to delay will be a more positive outcome than if it was rushed out. With these features coming in the patch following 3.23, this will allow CIG to get them into a better state and will allow them to focus on polishing and stability. It will also ensure that they're not rushing to get these features in for the next patch so that they can deliver the patch for Invictus, which is seemingly what happens every single year. Now on a positive note, Vulcan and the water simulation tech were added into the 3.23 release view, and so far my experience with Vulcan has been a positive one. Once I switched from DirectX 12 to Vulcan, I saw an increase in performance and a decrease in stuttering with my i7-13700K and 4070 Super. There are still a few issues with performance in the PTU build, however. On the live build, I was seeing frame rates at a consistent 60 to 70 FPS, while on the PTU build, I was getting probably around 40 to 50 with DLSS turned on. But as more bug fixes are completed, I think it will progressively get better with each patch that is released. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to join the community by subscribing to this channel where you'll be provided clear and concise news and updates on Star Citizen and reviews of some of the best gear and peripherals in the sim and gaming market. Let me know what you think about freight elevators in the comments below and remember, please be respectful. And if you want more information on all of the features coming to 3.23 very soon, minus the ones mentioned, then you'll want to check out this video. Fly safe pilots, and I will see you in the next video. Havoc out.